Now one thing Smarik did was to make this leg removable, which means I can just screw out this leg this way, goes all the way out, and then it turns to a monopod. So guys, today I bring to you the ultimate content creator tripod, this guy by Smarig. So I actually like their slogan, which says, Smarig, big dream, like I love it. So you have the dream of becoming a content creator, or you're already a content creator, I want to like get a new tripod, or you're buying your first tripod, I would strongly recommend this tripod. And in the next few minutes, I'll be telling you why I love this tripod so much. Like literally everywhere I'm going to, to go and create content, me and this guy were going together. The first thing I love about this tripod, like I really love so much, is the fact that this tripod can shoot portraits and landscape. Like I don't have to like pick out my camera from the tripod to switch from portrait to landscape. It's just to unhook this knob here and then turn the camera around and I'm good to go. So which means if I'm shooting a video for YouTube and I'm also shooting for Reel or TikTok or YouTube Shorts and the likes, I can just easily unscrew this knob, turn my camera around, same set, same location. In like a few seconds, I'm good to go for the next shot. So I really love that about this tripod, how flexible it is to switch from portrait mode to landscape or from landscape to portrait mode. So let's talk about the branding of this tripod. First, when you're actually about to buy the tripod, like you've not unboxed it, you've not opened it yet, you can see some of the features of the tripod by the side. I mean, the first thing I actually looked out for personally is a tripod that can go as high as I need the tripod to go and also come down to as low as I need it to go. Like sometimes you want to go like low angle shots, so you need to like really go down and tilt your camera up. So I like the fact that this tripod can go all the way down to like a baby. It's called a baby in filmmaking. That's like a very low tripod and it can go as tall as this height. So it goes all the way up as well. So when you unbox this tripod, the first thing I love about this tripod is the branding. And when I say the branding now, nobody cares about cartons. I'm not going to carry the carton up and down all over the place when I'm going to shoot. So let's say the tripod is out and we'll throw it away and it's out of the game. There's still this cute bag to carry the tripod, which is also branded Smurig. I feel like Smurig is a reputable brand and if you have a bag that bears Smurig, it's good for you. It's not like an inferior brand, so to say. So I like the fact that they made this bag this way, which means I can actually carry it this way. If I have to hold it as an handbag, have it this way but if I have to hold other things in my hand I can just suspend it over my shoulder like a cross bag right and in a case where I have like a backpack already I can choose to like maybe cross it maybe like like this a cross bag so easy I like the fact that they made the tripod quite easy to carry around right so now that we are actually so impressed with the cute bag to carry our tripod around the next thing is actually to see what's in the bag so this is the tripod itself. And normally it comes with this base plate. It actually comes with two of the base plates, one here and the other one here. So I have the other one right now glued to my um, phone holder. It actually came with this phone holder, so which means you can easily use this tripod for your camera for your phone as well so i permanently have one on my phone holder which means if i'm switching to my phone it's just to screw this guy on the base plate and i'm good to go and then this other one can permanently be on my camera as well so i like the fact that they actually consider that you might want to use multiple cameras at the same time on the same tripod or you might want to use a phone and a camera on the same tripod so you can put one for each and you are good to go. So this is the tripod itself. And the reason why I love this tripod so much is the fact that it gives me a tripod, a monopod, and it's actually very easy to use. Now, uh, if you look at this now, the tripod itself, it's a, it's a foldable tripod, which means you can easily fold it to be compact like this. And then if you have to like take it out, you can bring this down, bring this down, bring this down. And in a few seconds, your tripod is good to go already. So it goes this way and it stands. So you can adjust it to stand properly as you please. And there's also a carry um, rope, so to say here, where you can easily hold the tripod. So let's say I'm not with the bag, I need to hold the tripod, I can just easily hold this this way and I'm good to go. So another thing I love about this tripod is the fact that Smurig was considered to make the um, stand, so to say now, come on a rubber. So this rubber now makes it easy to make the tripod 
static in a place, not slippery because it's rubber, so it's going to grip well. But just in case you're in a place that the rubber is still slippery as well, maybe like a wet ground or something, they also provide you with this metallic one, which means you can screw this out this way. This comes out and then you can screw in this anchor looking one on here. So if you're at a place where you need to like fit in the tripod to the ground or something, this will easily go into the ground and fit in properly. This tripod can also be a monopod. Now one thing Smorik did was to make this leg removable, which means I can just screw out this leg this way. It goes all the way out and then it turns to a monopod. So one leg on its own can actually just be a monopod. So I have a gimbal here and this is the uh, tripod stand for my gimbal, which means I can easily fix in this stand on this guy this way. And now I have a monopod with a stand, literally, so I can just fix it this way. So if I need to go to a place where I do want to carry the heavy tripod, the old tripod, I can just go with this single leg with this stand and then I can fix my camera on here. So now I'm going to give you an example of how to fix in uh, the phone case holder on this guy. So I don't have the camera here right now because I'm obviously filming on the camera. So I'll demonstrate with my phone. Now, this is the top part of the um, tripod where you fit in your phone or normally or camera as the case may be. Normally, if you are going to fit in your camera, that means you get to put your camera on this base plate, this base plate. So it fits in this way and then you put it this way like so and I screw this knob in so it stays properly. Yes, so my phone stays this way. So I have my camera facing out. So if I was going to use the tripod on a normal day, that means I set my tripod and I have my phone this way so I can record on portrait mode. But if I want to go landscape, it's just for me to adjust this knob and this knob. So if I free this knob here, then the ball head is free and I can easily just turn my phone this way and then screw it back. And in less than one minute, less than two seconds or three seconds, literally, I can now film on landscape mode. If I want to change it back to portrait mode, um, free this knob here, free this one here, and then bring it back up. And in like three seconds, my phone is good to go on portrait mode. And this is not just for phone, it also applies to camera. So I like the fact that it makes it very easy for you to switch. Now, I was demonstrating how to use this tripod as a monopod, right? Let's say screw on here, unscrew it like this. So unscrew and then voila, we're good. So now we have this guy, which I don't want to be needing anymore because we're not changing our camera from tripod to monopod. Then we have a screw on here which will not be needed anymore as well because I changed the monopod. Keep in mind, this screw is three different mouths, this, this, and this. And then this monopod has the mouth that enters on here on a normal day. So we just thread this on here. And in a few seconds, our tripod is now a monopod. How cool is that? The trial is. So if I need to film on my phone, I just go this way and I'm good to go. If I need to like turn it around to like landscape, free this knob, free this knob, and in a few seconds, it's now on landscape mode as well. So I actually love how seamless Smorig made this tripod to switch from portrait mode to landscape or from your phone to your camera. I like the fact that this tripod can switch from tripod to monopod. I like the fact that it's foldable and easily detachable. Like I literally just took out a leg now and we still have the other one, which I don't need anymore now. Right, so another quick tip I'll need to drop out there is there's a, should I call it an anchor now? There's an anchor on here, which you can use to hold extra weight. Now, in case this tripod is too light, wherever you are filming at, and breeze is blowing it, it's windy, you can easily attach extra weight to this place. Maybe a sandbag or your school bag or something like that, just so the weight is now more on the tripod and it's not windy and breezy. Another thing I love about this tripod is how easy it is to extend the height. Literally all you need to do is just to unclip this and raise it and then clip it back. 
three seconds, literally. I like the fact that this tripod makes it easy to do what you have to do in no time. Like, setup time is less than one minute and you're good to go. If you need to reduce the height, unclip it as well. Reduce it to as low as you want it to go and then clip it and you're good to go. So you don't have to like unscrew knob or do something that takes your time. I like how seamless it is. Just unclick, clip and you're good to go. Alright guys, thank you for watching my review on my small rig tripod and I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy creating this video. Do well to like, comment, subscribe as I'll try my best to create more videos around the gear I use and why I use them and I'm very sure you love them.